So here's what we're going to do. We have new members come in all the time. Basically what happens is, we have them come in, we uh, have them fill out a waiver and whatnot, and then I spend about 7 to 10 minutes explaining what is CrossFit. Okay. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to explain to you what, what is CrossFit. The, the simplest way for new people to come in, just kind of give you a brief synopsis of what we do and why we do it and why it works so well. And then I'm going to put this on the site so that I can have other people watch it so you can get a better idea of what we're doing. So again, it's just me a quick, quick, quick explanation of what is CrossFit and why it works so damn good. Okay? So, first thing we're going to talk about is that when you first walk in, mentally you need to prepare yourself to understand that we don't care what you look like. What we're trying to do is get you as physically fit as possible to perform daily tasks. Or in your case, fire tasks or whatever comes up in your daily activities or, or with work. And that's a complete different outlook than what you have at the regular conventional gym. Normally I feel at the regular conventional gym I'm thinking biceps, I want to get nicer calves, bigger biceps. And here it's like, hey man, I want to be able to do work. I want to be able to live life healthy. I want to be able to lift shit up and, and, and do stuff. I don't want to you know, be decrepit or whatever is going on. And so the way we're going to get there, right, is by doing CrossFit. And what is CrossFit? CrossFit, by definition, is going to be constantly very functional movements performed at a high intensity. Okay. So, let's talk about what it is. First piece we're going to touch about is, um, how about functional movements? Have you ever been to a gym and had a trainer, like you stand on like one of those boso balls, and they have you do this kind of thing, they say it's functional, mm -hmm. they talk about core strength and things of that nature? What we're looking for here is, with our functional movements, the easiest way that we can define them is natural. So, the way we want to look at it is, hey, what we do in the gym, we want to mimic movements outside the gym to most benefit us for outside the gym. So let's take um, a firefighter, for example. Being on an unstable object and doing this is not going to prepare them for lifting heavy people out of a building or whatnot, as well as other things that we could do in here in our gym. So there's no functional application to a bicep curl. Never in life can I ever think of one time that you'll specifically just do this. Even like, let's just say you're drinking a beer, you're going to come here, and you still need to engage your shoulder and your wrist to drink it, right? So if we never do things in life in isolation, that's not what we're looking to do in here. Because why would we want to do the movements? What we want to do in here is best prepare us for outside the gym. So isolation exercises are not going to do so because in life we never isolate. Does that make sense? Makes sense. So what we're looking at for functional movements is going to be natural. Natural meaning no one created you. Who taught you how to lift something up off the floor? I don't know. Who taught you how to press up over your head? You've been doing it since you were a little kid. Who taught you how to squat? No. Those are the movements that really built the bulk of our program because that's what we find in nature. So now, we have these functional movements or, or, or natural movements, and what we do is we combine them at extremely high intensities. So high intensity, just before we get into it, is the good stuff. And what we're looking at here is the equation of force times distance over time. Bottom line, have you ever, uh, you ever jogged 400 meters? Yeah. You ever sprinted 400 meters? Yeah. Which one's harder? Uh, the jog? No, jog or sprint. Oh, the sprint. Hell yeah, right? Now what's changed? You still weigh the same, you're still going the same distance. The speed. The speed, right? The time variable. That is the good stuff. So what we're looking to do in here, in CrossFit, is move large loads, heavy objects, long distances, very long distances, meaning all the way from the ground, maybe to over our head, that's a long distance, and very quickly. And that's the reason how we increase our average power goes up. Another thing to think about is like, I ask you, hey, let's have you do 100 push-ups in an hour. Piece of cake. Now I'm trying to do 100 push-ups in 5 minutes. Well, you're still moving your body the same distance, everything's still the same, but the good stuff comes 
the, the, it becomes challenging because of the time frame, right? So in CrossFit, what we're going to try to do is fight to increase the numbers on top and decrease the numbers on the bottom. We also look at this and we're able to quantify, hey, am I getting better at CrossFit? When you're at the conventional gym, how do you know if you're getting better? Maybe do a little bit more weight, but you don't know how long you rested. Maybe do 30 minutes of cardio on the treadmill or whatever. And there's no real like data like, hey, am I getting better? Am I getting more fit? And here, if I ask you to perform a task, let's just say it's 100, air, 100 squats and it takes you 10 minutes. Well, six months from now, when you come back in here, I want it to take you seven minutes. Because if you can do the same work in less time, that's the good stuff. Right? And so that's what we're going to quantify our data. So what we have is we have natural movements combined in extremely high intensity, and we're going to constantly vary everything we do. Constantly vary, meaning most people go to the regular gym, they do, you know, maybe buys and tries one week or, or one day, chest and back, 30 minutes of cardio, and it's like, God, kill me now, right? So boring. In here, we have members that have been with us for years, and you never do the same thing twice. And the re well, sometimes. But what I mean is, we combine similar movements, but we combine them in all different ways, so your body keeps getting, uh, can never get adjusted to it. But more importantly, you never get adjusted to it. Meaning, you, it, it's not monotonous, right? It's not like the same old shit every day. So you're motivated to come in and do something new because you have no idea what's going to hit you. Also, and probably the most important component to this is that as a firefighter, police officer, as a normal person, as whatever it may be, you don't know what's going to happen in your daily life. So if you only did the same stuff every day, let's just say you did bicep curls every day. Well, you'd get really good at bicep curls, right? But what if life demanded you something other than this? Well, then you're screwed. In here, what we're trying to do is specialize in not specializing, meaning this. If you look at a fit person, there's cardiovascular endurance, there's stamina, strength, flexibility. There's a ton of components that we would say make up a fit person. What we want to do is never focus on one only. Have you ever um, watched a marathon? You ever seen the guys at the finish and what they mainly look like? What do they look like? Very, very skinny, right? They have a hard time picking up their backpack. And now you look at the contrary to that, which would be powerlifters who just lift a shitload of weight, strong as hell, but they walk up the stairs and get out of breath. What we're trying to do in CrossFit is blend all different things. So that if, let's just say you're in a burning building and you had to choose between someone who only does cardio, only lifts heavy objects, or a guy who does a little bit of everything, I want the guy who does a little bit of everything. Because if the guy who could only runs comes up to save me, is he going to be able to pick me up? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bet my life on it, right? The big guys, he be able to run to me? Eh, I don't think so. But the other guy who does a little bit of everything, yeah, he might not run to me as fast as the runner, and he might not be able to pick me up as good as the powerlifter. But he's gonna do a better overall job than those guys. And so what we're looking for is we're looking at this constantly varied piece to be as fit as I can possibly get across anything. So to sum this all up, my goal for you is to increase your work capacity. This, your ability to do work across broad time, meaning any time frame, right? It could be five minutes, 10 minutes, an hour. I want to increase your ability to do work and modal domains, meaning any domain, anything you can think of, running, push-ups, pull-ups, heavy lifting. I want to increase your ability to do work across all these things. And we combine these with nine fundamental movements, which we're going to get into right now. In CROSS, we have nine movements that build up the bulk of our program, or from that, you can continue on through our process easier because you have the fundamentals down. The squat, the front squat, the overhead squat, the press, push press, push jerk, deadlift, sumo tie pull, and a clean. A lot of those you're probably looking at, like, what the hell is he talking about? Maybe you aren't, maybe you are. We're going to break them down to you. We're going to start today on the squat, and then maybe progress down to the front squat and overhead squat. Okay. So, that's CrossFit. Constantly varied.
functional moves, perform to high intensities. Don't get your head wrapped around so much of what you look like, but how well you can perform a task. Cool? Got it. All right. Let's, uh, let's get to work. So, here's what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. Got your messing up, right? So, this is 